channel. In this video, we're going to be planting pumpkins. Orange Bulldog is the variety we're planting. We're planting a uh, plant where well, I'm going to plant them by hand. That's right. I'm going to lay the rows off with the International 674 and the 2 row 71 planter. Y'all can't see it because it's behind the tractor. Um, plant eight rows of them. The row spacing is going to be all 36 inch. 36 inches. Every 36 inches, there'll be a row. I'm doing it like that so I can cultivate them when they're small. I probably won't be able to do it very much because pumpkins are a, a real viney crop. Kind of like peanuts or watermelons or whatever. So, let's plant these pumpkins. International 674 has what we call radiator cap guidance system. And when you put the radiator cap, you point it at something on the other end of the field and you stare at it and drive straight to it. It does not have GPS. And the planters have little scooters mounted on the side of it to draw a line. So on the next pass, you just put the tire in that little furrow that it makes and that keeps you on line but the first pass you lay it off straight with the radiator cap. I'm going to be traveling very slow because I don't want the planters to bounce through this uneven ground. taking my tire and putting it right in that uh, scooter track where the scooter was running. All I'm after is making them little uh, tire tracks by the planter where when I go come back to hand plant the seed, I know right where to put them to keep them on 36 inch row space. Well, everybody, got them planted, or two rows of them I'm going to do. These two, 
for right now and then we're going to come back a week or two weeks apart and plant all the rest of the rows. But the top, of, the ones that were at the top, I just dusted them in. There ain't no, hardly no moisture, so we're supposed to catch rain tonight, like we do. If we don't, I'm going to have to water. You see, I got my sprinkler right there, and then these are my T-posts right here. Well, I appreciate y'all watching. I'll see you in the next one.